So we're here, free scale at uh, the European headquarters in Toulouse, and uh, we had with Philippe, and you are a software engineer and a, a graphics expert at Freescale. So could could you introduce us to this this spe specific uh, uh, OpenVG technology? Right. So I'm going to explain to you um, about our IMX bandwidth processors that have the op that support OpenVG natively. So um, first of all, we're going to look at the IMX35. So the IMX35 is, uh, supports uh, only OpenVG as a graphics uh, API. And uh, so what, what's OpenVG and what's the benefit? OpenVG is a, well, the VG stands for Vector Graphics. And the benefit of OpenVG is that, um, as you see in this, in this image, uh, as, the, uh, as the lines are turned and rotated, that, um, that the quality remains the same. That's because rather than being stored as a, as a set of pixels, a set of sort of dots that, that represent the, the image, it's stored as mathematic equations that represent um, what the lines are. And so as you zoom in and out, like when you use PDF, um, you, you retain the same quality. Because Freescale uh, is, uh, has, is one of the only ones to have this, this different graphics core in the processor. Yes, we were one of the first to, to in an embedded processor to, um, to um, put a native uh, OpenVG GPU. It means it's actually a physical different chip in there. So it's, it's part of the same, um, the same chip. We have um, packaged different, uh, different graphics processors. That includes, we have video processors, we have 3D, video processor, uh, 3D graphics processors, and OpenVG graphics processors. Because what you're showing over there, this is not VG right now. This is OpenGL, right? That's right. What we're showing here, this is the IMX51, um, and this, this processor and this family of processors has actually two GPUs. The first GPU, so GPU is graphics processing unit. The first GPU is uh, the one that you're seeing now, which is a, which is a 3D GPU. This uh, supports OpenGLES 1.1 and OpenGLES 2.0. And uh, as you see, this is uh, this 3D uh, game is being rendered by the by the GPU. Now, in parallel, we have an OpenVG GPU, and uh, and these can work simultaneously. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to launch uh, on an overlaid um, display um, this this Tiger, which is a which is a common um, vector graphics uh, benchmark uh, that uh, is rendered with the OpenVG image simultaneously with the OpenVG graphics unit simultaneously with the Open uh, GLES graphics unit being rendered in the background. So that's cool. So, so VG graphics are, uh, in some ways, uh, can be much smaller amount of data than, than the raster, what you call it, the, all the pixels, showing, that, sending all the pixels. That's exactly right. So if you compare, um, for example, uh, the size of a PDF uh, file with uh, a size of a, of a bitmap or a picture file that would represent the same data, you would see, um, in terms of text, uh, you would see that the PDF is much, much smaller than a, than, a, than a picture. And that's what you gain when you use OpenVG. 